It's Lake Powell Adventure Week on At Your Leisure with the Yardleys from Eagles Landing. They treat us to a wonderful weekend on the lake featuring my favorite, Wave Runners. Then we head out to the Water Hollow Ranch in Bluebell, Utah. Running now through October 26th, they'll have a Witch's Hollow, Creep Farm, and a Pumpkin Patch. But we went for the kickoff as they hosted a 5K benefit run through their out-of-this-world corn maze. Finally, Reed Stein takes us out to the place where his love for the outdoors all began with his first catch. It's all jumping your way right now. You know, Rhea, this is my favorite time of the day down here at Lake Powell. I'll go to bed early just so I can get up and catch the sunrise. It's so tranquil. It's fabulous. It's like the beauties of a new day right in front of us. Oh, man. It's just, and, <laughs> and everyone is different and unique. That's right. Welcome to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. And we are somewhere in Navajo Canyon down at Lake Powell with our friends, the Yardleys yeah. from Eagles Landing. The they were so kind to invite us down, and my sister Lisa's with me today, so we're doing a little um, just old-fashioned fun down on Lake Powell. Well, it was good to reacquaint ourselves with what the lake experience is like. I mean, my kids grew up on this lake, and uh, I, I used to work this lake. I used to be a yacht broker years and years ago, and so uh, it's, it's always good to come back and reconnect, and we hope we can show you how to share that activity. That's right, this is the best time of year too. That's true, whether it's you, you go all the time or you just go once, this is something you should do. Let's find out why it means so much to some of our friends. Lake Powell has been a family tradition uh, for my kids. I can ask them anytime I see them, where's your favorite place on earth to go to? And it's Lake Powell. So we've been coming here forever. Uh, the fishing is always the big thing. I mean, when we used to come down with my dad, that's he'd have a list. I'm thinking, Dad, you know how much work that's going to be? And it took three hours to get 150 fish and stripers cleaned up, but we got Dad's quota, so he was super happy. You know, being my best friend forever, it's been hard not to have my dad out here. We have a family-run business, so the entire family's part of it. We all work together. And when we come out to Lake Powell, the nice thing is we still enjoy being together as a family. Young, old, it doesn't matter. They, everybody enjoys Lake Powell. And swimming in Lake Powell every morning, you know, beautiful mornings. I mean, we were up early this morning swimming around 7. We could have swam six miles. It was fabulous. Really, the water is just so crystal clear and beautiful. So without a doubt, the greatest times in my life and the fondest memories that we always have. In fact, seeing Bub out there in the water this morning just warmed my heart because we'd come here and he'd never leave off the beach. Oh my gosh, you guys, it just doesn't get better than this. It doesn't. Perfect weather <laughs> in Lake Powell this time of year. It is. This is just the only way to travel. Oh, it for is. sure. Without a doubt. Exactly. Absolutely. You know, I don't know where Chad and Lisa are, but I think they're... <laughs> I say we lost them. They're on the Wave Runner somewhere. Hey, I don't blame them. It's crystal. It's clear. It's it beautiful. Just perfect for Perfect wave weather. You bet. Okay, well, we're going to go off to our Where to Adventure Urban. After that, Katie's going to cook us some breakfast oh. on the houseboat. Yes. Yeah, she was hungry. It's harvest season in the little town of Bluebell. A time to come together to celebrate the abundance of life in the West. A time to ring bells and show thanks for all that we're given. Are you guys ready? Woo! That cannon's the start gun down there. On your mark, hit set, go! Today was our Move Yourself uh, run. We've re-ran for Amber Olson. Every year we have this race and 
we try to pick a family in need that might need some help and some love. She's a young mom, she has five kids, um, and woke up with a headache one day and was diagnosed with brain cancer. Um, obviously medical expenses are super high, so we just want to help out however we can. As a family, we were talking about it, and we had the maze, and the maze was running, and it was going successful, and we just wanted to kind of give back. Um, some of the good things that's happened to us, we wanted to give back to the community and to others that needed some help. Mark and Lori were just kind of trying to do some sort of like charity aspect with the maze, and back then I was more of a runner <laughs> than I am now. Um, so I just thought it would be fun, like a really unique idea to do it through the maze, and that's just how it started. <laughs> Turnout was good today. We're a small venue, and, and we're out away from everything, so we don't expect a thousand people to show up at something like this. Uh, but yeah, today was a great turnout. A lot of support from the community. It's a good feeling. Um, it lets you know that people still care. I mean, we look at the media and it seems like there's always, um, you know, just bad or unfortunate things happening. So it, it's a feel-good moment. I, I can't believe how many good people there are in this world. I really wish the news would focus on things like that. The things like the people that have stepped forward to help Amber, it's, it's really humbling to me. As you run and each foot steps forward, be grateful for your help, because you just never know what, what will happen in life sometimes. So, anyways, thank you again, and have a good race. The glow of charity knows no boundary, and it knows no age. And today's event shows it. I love seeing like families together, like especially when they're all wearing their shirts, they all match. Like it's just fun to see the little kids running through the maze with their parents and like already getting involved in an act of service and an act of putting someone else's needs above yours at just a young age. So it's fun. You can find out about next year's Lose Yourself Run at bluebellcornmaze.com. For as long as I can remember, this is what we do. Rising early to take on the desert, owning our freedom, ripping our own lines in the sand, launching outside our comfort zone, chasing our friends to the horizon, and then back to the campfire. We're built for good times that last forever. But we are never able to get enough. This is what we do. Every weekend, every month, every year, we ride Can-Am. This What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex. Hunting season's here. Is your rig ready? Come and see us. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are on the Yardley's Eagle Landing houseboat. I cannot believe how lovely this thing is. It's big because you got a big family. <laughs> we have a huge family. And Katie, you are going to cook a beautiful breakfast this morning. Um, what do you got here? Um, basically, I'm going to cook. It's a, just a breakfast casserole. And what? 
what we start with is we start with maple sausage. And we just want to brown it up nice and make sure it's well done. All right, once you finally get your sausage browned and cooked through completely, this is when we add our hash browns. Beautiful. Now, when you use hash browns, if you use frozen hash browns, you just want to make sure you, you not an aluminum pan, but you want to make sure you, yeah. you thaw them out first. You don't okay. want them frozen going into the castle. So you don't have to cook them, you just thaw them out. Yep, just thaw them out, as long as they're thawed out. So, put a little bit of hash browns in and mix it together. All right, so at this point, you actually want to have a greased pan. Okay. So when can we, you put Pam in it? Yes, you can spray Pam in it, but when we're on the houseboat, uh -huh. I actually like to use these aluminum pans because when you're done, it helps make the cleanup easy. Perfect. And when you're on the houseboat, you want to make sure you have plenty of time to play and not let yourself be stuck in the kitchen cooking. Okay. So after we get the hash browns and the sausage mixture in here, we want to take a, and it depends on your preference, but about 12 to 14 eggs. You want to whisk them up together pretty good. Uh -huh. Once you, once you get them whisked, you want to add about about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of half and half. You also want to just, for your own preference, season it with salt and pepper. Okay. Easy. I can't believe this is all you're doing. This looks outstanding. And then this is my little secret. You actually, a little bit of dry, dry mustard. Ooh. So. Yeah. And I usually put about, I know I measure with my hand, but I usually put about a teaspoon in. Okay. Then you want to mix all the ingredients really, really well. Beautiful. All right. Oh my gosh. This is where it gets tricky. <laughs> you just pour it right over everything. And once you get everything tucked in, this is the fun part. Cheese. No, oh, please. Now, a mound of I know cheese. a mound of cheese. My <laughs> husband helped me this morning, and can you tell he likes cheese? <laughs> I can. He's my kind of man. He, I love he, he, he loves to help grate the That's cheese, fantastic. so I know I know I will always have plenty. Yeah, and you just want to completely cover the top with cheese. So mm -hmm. once you get it covered, I just kind of sit like that. Now we put it into a 400 degree oven. Okay. We're on the lake, so it depends on elevations and that. Sometimes cooking times will vary, so it's anywhere from 30. To 45 minutes is usually about how long it takes. You just want to make sure the eggs are cooked completely through. Oh my gosh, Katie, this looks amazing. I can't wait to eat it. You know what? Actually, I'm excited to oh eat it. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. so oh, so breakfast, the Yummy. family shows Whoa. up. <laughs> I'm put the old fish and poles away for a while. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. You know, we haven't seen you guys all morning, oh and now it's Christmas <laughs> time. Your smells and you know what? Who gets the first Give piece? Here, oh, hey, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba gets the first Woo. piece. Yummy. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. We'll keep dishing them up. Yummy. All right, we'll be Our right favorite. back with more of At Your Leisure. <laughs> Fly higher. Go further. Do more. Pursue your passion with Polaris, the world leader in off-road. Live wide open in a high-performance Razor. Chase adventure on a legendary sportsman. Or get more done with a hard-working Ranger. Enjoy savings up to $3,500 during the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. I promised my son that if he got straight A's, the two of us would take a guy's trip. We were riding on the Lincoln Loop Trail outside Minersville, Utah. There was so much to explore, and the trail just kept climbing higher, right to the very top of a mountain called Jack's Peak. We just stood for a while, taking in the whole world below. On the way back to camp, my son turned to me and said, I love you, Dad. Then suddenly it hit me. This wasn't just another camping trip. At Paris RV, you can count on five things. A huge inventory of RVs, great service, a large variety of accessories. Now, two locations and 14 brands of toy haulers. From Vortex, Striker, Attitude, Powerlight, Highlander, Thunderbolt, Boost, Hyperlight, Nitro, Sandsport, Salem Cruise Light, Iconic, Cyclo, and Sandstorm. Paris RV, 4360 South State, and now 5545 South State, and online at parisrv.com. Paris RV is Utah's number one volume toy hauler dealer. Hey, you don't have to miss one second of adventure. Follow At Your Leisure on YouTube to watch full episodes or your favorite stories from the show. 
And don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date on all of At Your Leisure's adventures. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Well, you know, we're talking about families on the beach. <laughs> this is a family on the beach. Or out on the water, on the watercraft. <laughs> Chat, Chat on, on the, the watercraft. watercraft. <laughs> on the watercraft, yeah. But it, it, is a, it is something special to bring your family down to Lake Powell. Now, when we used to do Boat World years and years ago in our previous television life, there was an old saying that many boat dealers used. He said, families get along on boats because you got everybody in a 10 foot by 10 foot box and they stay there all day. They have to get along. Yeah. Now, it's a little bit bigger with a houseboat, but think about it. You got no friends to call. You've got no internet to get in your way. You've got no other distractions. You just spend family time. It's, it's so awesome. Everybody needs to come out here and experience this. This is what brings families together. And I've got proof. We're in Navajo Canyon. And we are having a little playtime on the beach, uh, watching our little boy eat some sand. <laughs> it's always an amazing experience, but out here on the beach, you get to be a little bit closer. You don't ever forget what. You don't ever forget the relationships that you build out on the lake. Such a beautiful view. Like, the views are amazing. Hands down the best fishing in the world in the fall. It's the stripers, the bass, the catfish, and we've caught them all. But this is kind of where it's at. That's why we come up Navajo Canyons to do the, to do the fishing. The, the feelings I've had is, have been pretty special at this point. And it, just seeing him see the sand for the first time and the beach, all that's just amazing. I came out here since I was a little boy, so it's neat to get to see him experience it even younger from, he, he's not even a year yet. Wow, wow, Whoa. look at this. Look, look at him go. This has got to be oh, the first. I've never so, seen that many, how many before. How many is it? Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six. There are eight people wakeboarding oh behind goodness. that boat at the same time. That is incredible. Right now, we've got to get away from here and to our along the way adventure. Imagine that. The pond looked nothing like the revamped lake dedicated last year, little more than a mud hole then, but we 10-year-olds didn't care. In fact, the entire park is new. First opened in 1937 as Forest Dale Park, Fairmont on 9th East and Sugar House was our favorite getaway. We rode our bikes here to swim in the pool, which was filled in to become a world-class skate and bike park. The new pool is in a modern fitness facility opened in 2002. Next to the skate park, six courts for the world's fastest growing court sport, pickleball. I played Little League Baseball here. No baseball fields anymore, replaced by large open areas mainly used for soccer and frisbee. There is one half court for basketball and volleyball and horseshoes. New playgrounds, restrooms and pavilions, a large two-part fenced off-leash area for dogs, and a walking and jogging path that is bringing back residents from around the city. I love Fairmont Park, it's great. I, I really enjoy the, the pond, they, they updated the kind of the walking space around it, I think that's really nice. And I love the dog run, um, I think it's a huge improvement. I think this park is lovely. Um, I'd heard some negative things in the past, so I actually hadn't been here before, but um, Derek said, let's go to Fairmont Park this morning. And honestly, I'm really impressed. It's lovely. Like there's so many different, um, so many different parts of the park to engage with. I think it's really nice. And this year, the park hosted a farmer's market and wellness fair. It kind of draws a lot more, a lot more uh, of the people that I want to be be around in one spot, so it's a, it's a nice community thing to have the park there. The pond has been completely redone with an elevated boardwalk leading to a large deck with benches. Wetlands landscaping with trees, bushes, and large boulders. It's ready for fishermen. And what are they putting in Fairmont Park? Monster catfish.
Curtis Wynn and Taylor Shamo brought these catfish up from the Glenwood Fish Hatchery near Richfield. But that's just the latest journey of their long trip. Catfish survive better than trout when these small, shallow ponds heat up during summer months. Fairmont Pond in Sugar House is just the first stop for Wynn and Shamo. Community fishing ponds have become a big deal for Utah anglers. Having a place right in your backyard where the kids can ride their bikes to after school, or families like Annie Drummond and her four kids can gather are major additions to large and more remote fishing streams and reservoirs. Stein along the way at my childhood fishing hole in Fairmont Park. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows. Wild and high, the stars come out at night. Oh, there ain't nothing like being raised in the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. And we will see you next week on The County Seat. When we go on vacation, I never ask, are we there yet? Because my daddy makes sure each stop we make is at Eagle's Landing. They have such cool things for kids, like a petting zoo. They have the cleanest bathrooms on earth. And daddy doesn't freak out pulling up to the pumps, because they're really big and he says it's the best gas in the world. And you can get your tired fits like we had to. Oh, and their food is so yummy. Eagle's Landing is so much fun, I don't care if we ever get there. It's time to save big during the Yamaha Let's Ride sales event with as low as 2.99% APR for 36 months, plus up to $4,000 customer cash on the industry's hottest models. So see your local Yamaha dealer today for huge savings. Then, Let's ride. Get your new Yamaha at Stedman's Recreation. Ride hard, play hard. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm with these fabulous ladies in Lake Powell on the wonderful Eagles Landing houseboat. You guys are incredible hosts, by the oh, way. Fabulous. Aren't they amazing? Yarlings are thank, fabulous. Thank you, for, thank you for joining us. So much fun. So much fun. Yeah, you really, this has just been a beautiful day. We've been boating and tubing and, and just, eating. and where are the boys? I have no idea where the boys they're, are. They're still on the wave runners. Ladies, where are you there? Oh, wait. Oh. Chad and I have been looking all over husband. for you, Annie. <laughs> oh, we, we really missed you, Mark. We, we missed did. you, too. 
I can't oh, believe hey, it. I've been hey, looking all hey, over. Baba. Hey, oh, how are you? you? Sit down, Bob. Yeah, there you go. That a boy. Well, we've yeah. had so much fun today. So much fun. You know, and it's not all just like oh, good fun. Good here, babe. Seriously, it's not all just playing around out here because actually we got some business to attend to. So let's go see who our sticker winner is this week. Sweet. Yes. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Sarah Carter. Congratulations, Sarah. It looks like you're going to win a brand new, clearly tough windshield for your rig. Clearly the toughest windshields in the market, and you're also going to win a bonus $100 gas and gift card from our friends at Eagles Landing. Be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prizes. Now let's take a look at our calendar of events. Well, first off, don't forget the Water Hollow Ranch Fall Festivities. They'll be going on through the 26th of October. So be sure to head out there to Duchesne County for some spooky fun. Then on October 18th and 19th is the rally at North Lake Powell at Tickaboo Lodge. It's sure to be a great time on the trail with great people and the AYL crew will see you there. Finally, on October 26th down in Marysville at the Hoover's Resort, they'll be kicking off the 2019 Halloween Howl which is a fantastic event featuring UTV trails and Halloween spooks. So be sure to come check it out. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week, Kevin and Gina take us out for a fun-filled day with the family on horseback and hiking as they show us a great base camp at Snow Canyon State Park. Then we're following the Lone Peak four-wheelers on an exciting adventure through some new territory on the Italian Creek Pass. I need to go there, just outside of Gunnison, Colorado. Finally, we get to check out some of the high-flying, fast-paced action as AYL visits the Nitro World Games. Well, next week's show looks great. Oh, hey, hey there's Chad. I found him. Oh, you found what do you me. Mean? What do you mean? You've been gone I, all day. Uh, you told me to have fun and relax I, and enjoy myself. Totally. He, this guy has been on that Wave Runner all darn day. I have pent up boating demand. Come on, get <laughs> Hey, listen, if this looks like something that you would like to do, I've got three pieces of advice we both want you to know. Number one comes from our friends at State Parks. And the Yardleys. And the Yardleys. Do not swim behind your houseboat when the generator's running. It's called the zone of death. Mm -hmm. Remember, carbon monoxide is the silent killer. Right. So find another place to play. For sure. That's that back of the boat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing is if you're coming in, you're going to camp, make sure you bring all your stuff. When you leave, take all your stuff, like the wood, everything. Take it out with you so when people come in, oh, yeah, that's I the kind of stuff you stuff. see. See, now this makes this beach unpristine. If I take it, I put it in a bag, I yeah. take it away with me, then the next guy's got a new place to be. Exactly. What's the third thing? Third thing. Be a good neighbor. Don't pull up and set up camp 10 feet from the guy next to you. Give him some space. There are a lot of places to camp on this lake, and they're all good. Yes. You should never go to the same place twice. And we're going to turn your music down tonight. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. You're going to be respectable. Be respectful. Exactly. And respectful. Yeah. Both. Okay. Yes, exactly. Well, just remember, there is adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At your, your leisure. leisure. Okay, this is the part where it says this right there. This is the part where we walk into the it sunset. It says right there on the cue card. Honey, it's, it's this way. Walk into the sunset. <laughs> okay.